Hi, my name is Robert Dudzik and I'm the composer, sound designer and producer. I specialize in doing sound designs for movie trailers and TV shows. And I've been doing this thing for over 25 years and I'm kind of happy where I am right now and because of that it's bringing me to the place where I'm able to sit in today up from you and introduce the new product what I just finished with Steinberg. So I have a dream and my dream come today true. I finally did something with Steinberg and I'm very happy about this thing. So how my collaboration with Steinberg begin? I, I, I've been using Steinberg for, I don't know, maybe 20 years right now. Long, long time. And I've been always loyal to them. And I really like what they do. I just understand the workflow and it's communicate to me. So for me, be approached by Steinberg and doing something for them, I, I take very personally. And I was very honored when they asked me of this thing. So that starts like months ago when the guys asked me, hey, we're working on the new product. It's called Backbone and it's like a drum synthesizer designing product, which would be interesting to do. I say, yeah, why not? And this point he's like, yeah, okay, let's do it. But after the first look, I was like, I was like hmm, it's hard to, you know, know what you stepping in, especially like if you listen something in the hallway and the headphones and I'm looking, trying to listen. And when you hear like, okay, this is going to be done, this is going to be done, it's going to be fixed, something. But you know, there was very early stages, but I say, yeah, let's do it. So when I get back, you know, I, I get the first version to working on. And that was my turn to bring my sons and start making with them some trying learning and you know the, the best way i find out learning this software was basically by doing so no matter what i'm going to show you today it's might going to speed up your process but you will learn a lot when you're just going to start an experiment with the backbone because it's sky it's a limit and, and you can see what you can do with the sounds so how i get my sounds over there the, the, to getting my sounds I, i've been recording sounds for close to right now like almost 20 years and i have thousands thousands of files so I design, you know, pick up some of my sounds, what I record in my studio, on the locations like junkyard and the city or whatever different places, hotels, wherever I go, always recording some sounds of doors or something. Use them and put them to the backbone. But the, another challenge was is like, which sounds I gonna choose, you know? And that's the coolest thing about backbone. Backbone inspired me. The moment I implement my first sound, I just get inspired. I said, oh, okay, this is cool. Maybe I can mix with this sound and this sound. And I was like starting dropping to the layer of different sounds and starting like with them. And the results was just like mind blowing. So I'm very excited to introduce you to Backbone right now and show you everything. And let's beginning with playing like a small composition when I just did using 100% Backbone sounds. So here it is. So as you hear already, Backbone is not only drum, sound design tool, it, you can do so many different cool things. So here it is, it's a backbone. And if you see that it's so many sounds inside this and you can choose them by the style of music, by media type, properties, or like in the browser, you can go by the author too. And you have so many names what people use. So like I, I wanna focus today on me because it's my sound. And I designed for backbone 108 patches. And the coolest thing, the patches come with the layers after when the layers, when you have like, it's probably over like 200 layers. So you can choose each individual and you start them. So I'm going to show you how to do. So let's go example like 
blast you know when you go to my sounds loading and sounds and if you hit softer you're getting the soft like a boomy hand or you can go to my symbols effects what i did and all these things what i was doing i was trying making sounds more unique not like typical drums because there's so many drums percussion libraries when they already have symbols so so I try and give them like some different characteristic. It's, so it, it's a symbol, but it sounds pretty cool, like a different can, you know, or oh, other one. It's kind of spooky. And sometimes I add to them like subwoofer frequency, low frequency, so. You can just see how much cool stuff you can do. Or you can go next, and my category will be like drones. And drones, it's stuck with different stacks, you know, like everywhere is boom and drone, and it sounds like soft. So it's all I did in the one drone, but there it's many different drones too. I want to show you this one. So they all have like the cool cinematic tone, you know, when you can use them it's right from the beginning and different kind of drops I did. So all have like some kind of like an element, percussive element. And one of the cool things about this thing, the tempo sync. So whatever you in the composition, you want to play as a MIDI, you can play as a MIDI and it's all going to sync. Then I did a lot of impacts too, because, you know, people always ask me for my hits, what I do. Here, like a big Godzilla hit. You can hear that you get the aggressive stuff. And now I want to show you, okay, I like this sound what I just hear right now. It's like, hmm, do I have to record? I just want to use this thing. Yes, the moment the sound is right here, all you have to do, go right now to this arrow and look at this. Drag it, and it's right here in your session. This is pretty cool, you know, and after I'm going to show you, if you like this sound, you can just bring it back to your layers and you can modify the sounds but we're going to get back to this thing. So this is one of the coolest things what I like about this. You can take, modify any of my sounds or any of the other sound designers, you can bring them up and starting to modify them. So we have impacts, as you see, different ones. And they all have some kind of tone character, like piano. And there, oh, this actually, no, this actually is, is, is cello. But what you hear right now, they all have like a, the harder you hit, the more characteristic of the sounds you're starting hearing. Soft, it's kind of muddy, but the harder. You hear all kinds of strings. And I always like play with the pitch band because you just add you this cool kind of character of the sound. So that's impact. Then I did some kicks too. But what I did with the kicks, you know, I'm the drummer. So I want to do sometimes kick, you know, when you will be able to play right away, like some kind of groups that give you vibes. So for like producer, if you want to make group, it's a right away kick. It's a groove to play. So there's some. So they're not typical kits, they're more like designed to basically even make you like cinematic groove right away. So they're gonna have some kind of different character. 
like example, this one have like a resonate frame drum under a trash can or you hear this? So you have right away cinematic groove. So it's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, I really like this one. So it's basically activate cool synthesis right here. And you see it's highlight because it's activate. Then I did percussion stuff too, because as a drummer, I love percussion. metal cans you know this is cool because I this is mix my sounds of my tabla together with like my little India finger bells you hear like the organic tone metal tone on the drums so it's bells, rain stick, you know. I did some snares too. But again, I want to make them sounds a little more different by combining them with different percussion elements and synthesis. So it doesn't gonna sound like just typical drums because I'm assuming you already have drum samples, so I want to give you something different. Then I did stingers, you know, I love stingers because they're very common tool to using in trailers. So in this example, basically I just use me bowing, water, harp and heading. And when you play lower, octave lower, it sounds pretty cool. And you hear I add the sub bass frequency under so it sounds really cool. And when you play again with the pitch band, you're getting the right away the spooky tone. Softer. So it's darker, but you harder. You're getting right away the aggressive tone and more detail. So you can play with your dynamics so it's velocity sensitive when you play so it's pretty cool and there was my hatch and the door and the garage in the basement but it sounds so cool when you play soft And that was me bowing and the garbage trash can with my bass strings. So there's a lot of stingers. And there's so many layers of them. Then I did some stuff with the, the stutter effects. What's basically everything is programmed inside. So if you listen closely, you can tell it's a bass guitar string resonate this is what it is there was actually pitched down like a bouncing string I don't know if I have it I should have it somewhere yeah I have it yeah it's basically how you take some drumstick and do like so this is basically how I basically how I created the sound. So just pitch down and 
you're getting this. It's all my kind of wood gears. Then I do some thumbs too. So it's different sounds, thumbs. Some they play. So they're pretty cool. They have a lot of low frequencies. So it's different because it's again like morphing synthetic stuff. So they have all kind of weird tone adding to these things. And here we have transition. And play lower, softer, and it's really cool. And you can play with the mud wheel. Make even more dramatic. Oh, hit harder, you know what's gonna happen. So it's cool. Then by accident when I was playing with the synthetic stuff, I discovered from my like little dumb back when I play, I creating sounds like Udo. But the really thing that was just a tonal instrument and I spray with the noise and and it's just come so beefy, nice sound. So that's big Udo. And this, then I did some whooshes too, because whooshes are good for the transitions. So now when I give you the quick overview of the programs, what I did, let's switch right now to the layers. And this is when you're gonna have all my individual elements, what I was using, what I designed using to creating my patches. So, to order to do this, you just have to go right here and click on layers. And here you go. Once again, my name. And you have all these layers, all individual sounds, what I was using to stack to creating all these patches. So you have all kinds of bushes, drops, tunnels. And what you can do next with this thing? Hmm. Let's with this watch. Delete this one and delete this one and we have it right now blank canvas so basically let's go to slam yeah it's good sound let's move to slam layer we have it right now and when you hit it's a plain sound but i just choose it sounds good but we can have it right now a lot of fun with this thing so look at this activate synthesis click on this and the game begin You can change the position. And it's all come from this one sound, what I just did. So let's say I like this one. Let's go play with the pitch. And you can create it right now like a cool drop. But now, you can go to filter and it's again the same thing you can do. And now, and again, softer. And all this thing down from this one sound. You can back again to synthesis and you can change position. Back and can slide in the other layer and by double with this thing I can activate right now a little maybe pitch make it a little bit lower 
But let's back the synthesis to none. And again, you can do so many things. You can go right now in your own browser and one of the things what I, I like to record indoors a lot. This one is cool. So I like this one. Grab it and it's right here. Now you see, I bring my own sample inside, but I can activate synthesis right now and look at this. And you will be never safe because basically what I just did right now is like a sound like a Star Wars sound. We can go to the pitch and program again the pitch envelope, whatever we want to do. And it sounds some kind of like a Star Wars. So again, you can go to envelopes and same tricks. Hope you enjoy what you see today and what you hear because and you have fun much as I having fun working on Backbone. That was a lot of fun and I was really trying to make these presets user friendly for you so it's give you some inspiration and my video was hoping to just give you some inspiration too so you will be not afraid grabbing your own sample and just creating your sounds because this is not only drum design machine, this is like an ultimate drum ultimate design tool for a lot of sound designers. So hope you like these things and you can have fun much as I do. So thanks for watching and have fun with the backbone. Bye.